<laughs> if anybody's gonna mess up like this, it's me. I better show you what I did wrong so that you can learn from my mistake and you don't have to do your work twice, like me. <sighs> yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So here's kind of what's going on. Um, I put my springs in backwards. That's the long and short of it. And it took me a little while to figure out other people trying to explain it to me. And it has to do with a thing called the safety wrap. Um, safety wrap, I thought, was this clamp right here that kind of holds the leaves together, but it's not. Uh, the safety wrap actually, or also known as the military wrap, is this thing right here. And that is where the main leaf and the secondary leaf are double wrapped around this end. This end should be up against the frame, which would be up there. That end down there should be where the shackles are at. So basically, I installed my spring backwards. Front is rear, rear is front. And the eyelet then, that can spin around and um, you, know, you can loosen that through bolt that holds the stack of springs together and you can make sure that your eyelet faces on the back still. Uh, probably not a big deal if it was on the front, but because it was on the rear, we're gonna make sure they stay on the rear. So I can basically swap my springs side to side or I can pull them out and then just spin the shock mount backwards. So anyway, I hate having to do work twice, but uh, that's it's a safety thing. We gotta do it. So I'm gonna take some time right now. My boys are gonna help me and we're gonna get these things spun around and Hopefully, if you ever do your leaf springs, you can learn from my stupidity that the safety loop goes on the frame end. So, there we go. Let's get to it. So that's that. I'm glad that's over. Man alive. And hopefully you can learn from my stupidity and not have to do your project twice the same way I did. So um, huge thank you to a couple of my sons that came with me and spent their Saturday morning helping dad out. And we got these springs back the direction that they should be. And because it's a safety thing, this is a big deal. Um, again, if you saw the first video of when we replaced these springs the first time, that safety loop where it's doubled up, that's actually how I was able to get this thing home and not rely on a, on a wrecker to get me home and keeps you on the road, you know, so it's not cutting into your tire or putting you in the ditch or something like that. Safety thing, very important. So 
please. If you're replacing your springs on your truck, front or rear, make sure that doubled up loop is on the frame side, not the shackle side. I did not know that I put these in wrong the first time, but now I do, and now you know. So anyway, thanks for uh, following along. It's kind of a quick episode today, but I just wanted to show you that uh, I'm far from perfect. I make mistakes. I'm learning all the time. I hope you are too. And uh, so if you want to interact with me, you'll find me at Instagram. It's at flannel underscore Philip. Anything in the comments, I just don't see them, but uh, you can interact with me there. I'm also on a couple other platforms like Minds, Getter, and Rumble. So anyway, thanks so much everybody for supporting the channel. Peace and grease.